toga wata kiko uba kiri wata buki donko. Kabano tase makipuna, mali tuta odmiska. Chikos pa ini kudad iji gliska chanaga wa. I'm Supreme Commander Rands of the Republic. It's an honor to speak with someone who's done so much to help the cause. By defeating the Emperor, you've dealt a crippling blow to his followers. You single-handedly turned the tide of this war. The Republic already owes you a debt it can never repay. But I'm calling because we need your help again. Give me the mission, and I'll get right on it. As a Jedi, I'm sure you're familiar with the ice world of Ilum. It's one of the galaxy's primary sources of lightsaber crystals. The remnants of the Empire's forces have invaded Ilum en masse. We sent reinforcements, but they're getting overwhelmed. Once I get there, we'll drive the Empire off Ilum, just like we drove them off Corellia. This mission's different. The Empire's not trying to capture Ilum. This is a raid, and they'll strip the planet bare. The crystals on Ilum are unique, and the Empire has found a way to use them to amplify cloaking systems. With enough crystals, they could build an invisible armada, an entire fleet capable of striking any Republic world without warning. We're leaving for Ilum right now, Commander. Please hurry. The Imperials are led by a man named Darth Arho. He's throwing everything they've got at us. We can't hold out much longer. The Republic space station orbiting Ilum ASAP. A shuttle will take you down to the surface. We're using the Jedi Temple as a makeshift headquarters for our operations. Meet me there and I'll give you a full briefing. Rand's out. Chechopa kuma ni umpi but malia bedwana ni bobo. Commander Rands is waiting for me at the Jedi Temple. I bet he's not. Darth Arho's troops have taken over the temple. Commander Rands and the others barely made it out alive. Had to set up their command post in an unsecured field. You need to speak to Commander Rands. I can take you there. Get on board and hold tight. It's gonna be a bumpy ride. But you're here. As you can see, we need all the help we can get. Let me introduce our allies. Master Bowden of the Jedi, and Commanders Karawar, Giandar, and Yetjub. <laughs> No, Karawar. The attack on the temple is to distract us from Darth Arho's true goal. Just as the peace talks blinded us before the sacking of Coruscant. Darth Arho's a Sith. Seizing the temple is a direct challenge to our honor. He's throwing it in our face. We must not rise to his bait. There is no emotion. There is peace. Let Supreme Commander Rans do his job. The Imperials want Ilum's crystals. They're using deep miners to drill into the planet's core. The excavations leave massive sinkholes. The entire world's becoming unstable. If we don't stop them, Ilum could literally crack in two. Mem amgap kugap, kramanik, umka kiga mayamak. After you've cleared each mine, call us and we'll send reinforcements in to hold the area. I understand completely. Stopping the deep miners won't end this unless we locate the Imperial command post. They'll figure out another way to harvest Ilum's crystals. Good idea. After you disable each deep miner, download the mine's terminal data log. Bring all the data to Agent Sam Bradbur at the communications center for analysis. The fate of Ilum is in your hands. May the Force be with you. Agent Bradbur, I've got the data from all the mine terminals. You Jedi types do good work. Rans was smart to put you on this. Let me contact him while this data's decrypting. Supreme Commander Rans here. Master Bowden is with me too. Do we have the location of the Imperial Command Center? Just got the coordinates. Looks like the orders are coming from a small Imperial base on the ground. SIS scouted it before, but didn't think it was important enough to have priority. With the whole planet under siege, Arho knew Republic intelligence would overlook something so minor. I doubt Darth Arho's actually there. SIS reports sure he likes to stay clear while someone else handles things on the front lines. He'd probably put his personal apprentice in charge. 
Lord Loriat is every bit as cruel and ruthless as her master. SIS has a file on her. Ready to go to the lightsaber. Killed at least a dozen other Sith during her time on Korriban. Never punished for it. Arl protected Loriat. Their relationship goes deeper than master and apprentice. Loyat may be a Sith Lord, but she's no match for me. You can try to arrest her if you think that's best. But I won't miss her if she winds up dead. Once the base is out of commission, report back to Agent Bradbur. Good luck. Over, Lord Loyat. So, Rans has sent the great champion of the Jedi to challenge me. Your martial skills are legendary, but you will not succeed here. You have no idea what torment you are about to suffer. I am Darth Arho's personal abyss. Those who hear my master's name tremble in fear. Your master's not that special. The galaxy is full of brutal thugs. You know nothing of my Darth Arho. He embodies all the Dark Council represents. His wrath is legendary. Master, hurry to my side. Together we will destroy these Republic fools. Darth Arho, can you hear me? It is I. Lord Loyat! Master? Are you there? Did you really believe he'd risk himself to save you? For a Sith Lord, you still have a lot to learn about the dark side. He wouldn't abandon me. This... this must be a test. Yes, a test of my strength. I will destroy you myself, and prove to my master I am worthy to serve him. I yield! I yield! The base is secure. I need a squad to take Lord Loyat into custody. But Darth Aho always claimed that Darkseid was stronger than the Light. He swore the Empire would always triumph over the Republic. He lied to me. He used me. And then he betrayed me. I am nothing but a fool. Now you see the truth. You still have to pay for your crimes against the Republic. But it's not too late to choose a different path. Thank you. Your words give me... comfort. Something I have not felt in a long... time. Take her into custody. I need to get back. Agent Bradbury is waiting for me. Whatever you can carry. Wipe everything else clean. Let's go! We're mobile in five minutes! What's going on? Our host troops has raided our command post. Massive casualties on both sides. Our boys drove him off, but the imps captured Supreme Commander Rans. Gian Dars ordered everyone back to the command post. I need to get back to the base. Grab your gear and head back. Gian and the others will want to speak with you. We'll be right behind you. If we storm the temple, Darth Aho might kill the Supreme Commander. We lost Commander Jubb in the attack. I can't afford to lose Rans too. Mem amgap kugap, gramanik, umka kiga mayamak. Arho will be guarding against a direct assault, but I could sneak into the temple without him knowing. <laughs> Smashing your head against a problem isn't the only way to solve it. Sometimes you need a plan. Greetings, Republic Commanders. My name is Darth Malgus. Time is short, so I will be blunt. I've been providing Supreme Commander Rans information to help him defeat Darth Aho. I'm here to offer you the same. You were in charge of the prison where they were holding Revan. You tried to kill me. Much has changed since we last met. The Empire is in disarray. The war is over. You won. If we continue to fight, you will destroy us. I have accepted our new place in the galaxy. Darth Aho has not. He's a member of the Dark Council, but he's a thug. The Council needs someone more... progressive. If the Empire hopes to survive. Someone like you, I suppose. Openly opposing Arho would draw the wrath of the Dark Council. But by helping you eliminate him, we both get what we want. You're a Sith. You use lies and deception to get what you want. 
I'm only here to provide information. Whether you choose to use it is up to you. Come on, Mega, Nakaka, Manalak Laki, Napi Nekamaraka. They're holding him in a secret POW camp. The perimeter is ringed with droid defended security towers. Any breach will set off the alarm. I'm transmitting the location of the camp and the codes to disable the tower alarms. Use them as you see fit. Are we really going to trust a Sith Lord? Kamperem ganyam bajiyang. Mani kikum bukam. I can trust Malgus for one reason. He's acting out of self-interest. He hates Darth Arho more than he hates us. Niba ga glamka. Gakyam. Glaknimu amya galak. Um nuk inu nemnu. Amka aka memperlak balak. No, you're working with someone inside the Empire. Give me the traitor's name. Sorry. I'm not too good with names. I remember faces. Maybe if you show me some holograms. There are nine levels of pain we can inflict. That was level three. Remember it before your next answer. Let's see if you have the guts to stand up to someone who can fight back. Ah, the hypocritical code of the Jedi Knight. You condemn our tactics, yet you took the life of my apprentice. And for that, you must suffer. Lord Loyat wasn't a helpless prisoner. She had a chance to fight back. And now, so do you. My minions of pain are well trained in the arts of agony. You will suffer an excruciating death. Destroy her! Let Loyat's defeat be avenged by her screams of torment! I owe you my life. We all do. Chuba uno bunko chino manata. Arho knows we're here. He's going to send reinforcements. You're right. I can hear them coming down the hall. We have no armor, no weapons. You have to hold them off and give us a chance to escape. The beska kukape ma watabo tenya nucha dubota. Get back alive. Only because of you. I'm running out of ways to say thanks. Did the rest of the Republic prisoners make it back? Every last one of them. Our medics are looking them over. Some of them were in pretty bad shape. Incoming call, Commander. Looks like it's your Imperial friend. Good to see you alive and well, Supreme Commander. With you back at the helm, Darth Arho's becoming desperate. He's ordering his ships to land on Ilum's surface, to be equipped with prototype versions of the stealth technology. There's no way he pulled up enough resources to equip his fleet before I disabled the deep miners. Even with prototypes in only a handful of ships, Arho will have a weapon to lash out at Republic Worlds. Arho knows someone in the Empire is working against him. He's keeping the location of the landing site secret. That is all I can tell you. I won't contact you again. Arho grows suspicious. Figures. As soon as there's any risk to himself, our ally leaves us out in the cold. He's a servant of the dark side. Self-preservation will always be his first priority. There's only a few spots on Ilum where a ship larger than a shuttle could even attempt to touch down. We just have to take out those landing strips. If we can disable the ships already on the ground, nobody else will be able to land. Do you know what the temperature is out there? I've got frostbite on my... Somewhere you really don't want to get frostbite. I know this has been hard, but Karawar and Jiandar are already leading troops against key Imperial installations. I can't afford to send anyone else. I'll give you the location of the landing strips. Use these ion grenades against the ships already on the ground. Just in time. We're discussing our final attack plans. The Imperial troops have fallen back inside the Jedi Temple. Darth Arho refuses to surrender. He knows it could take weeks before we break the Imperial defenses and reclaim the temple. Fortunately, there is another way in. An underground escape tunnel built. We 
We need you to infiltrate the temple through the escape tunnel while we engage the Imperials outside. I understand completely. Troops are massing now, along with all available Jedi. I know the temple well. If you clear the way, I can lead a team of Jedi to capture key strategic locations, like the Armory. Without Master Bowden's Jedi, our troops will suffer greater casualties. But it might be worth it to get your hands on the Armory equipment. I won't sacrifice lives just so I can get my hands on some Imperial weapons. Then we'll engage Darth Arho's Sith followers while the rest of the troops take on the Imperial soldiers. What about air support, Commander? The Sullustan pilots are itching for a chance to avenge Yet Job. I share their pain, but the Temple houses many irreplaceable artifacts that are unlikely to survive a series of airstrikes. It's your call. Your mission to infiltrate the Temple will be a lot harder without air support. Those artifacts could turn out to be useful in our war against the Empire. We can't risk having them destroyed. You heard the Jedi, Bradbur. Keep the Sullustans grounded. Copy that, Supreme Commander. Here is the location of the escape tunnel into the Jedi Temple. Go there now. I'll send you updates on the progress of the battle. Good luck. I should have known they'd send a Jedi to retake the temple. You may have won the battle for Ilum, but the war is far from over. Even if you defeat the Empire a thousand times, we will always rise again. You keep rising up, I'm just gonna keep smacking you down. And you must not leave Ilum alive. Your death will be an inspiration to all who serve the Empire. Victory is ours. All Imperials on Ilum have surrendered. But success was costly. The names of all who gave their lives on Ilum will never be forgotten. I know as a Jedi you expect no reward, but I want to give you something for your efforts to save the artifacts inside the Jedi Temple. Kalam Jemrani Naya. Nemkiri. Commander, you read me? Just picked up a transmission from Darth Malgus. Haven't we done enough for him already? I'd say we've done plenty. You better take a listen. I intercepted this message as it was being broadcast across all standard Imperial communications channels. Fellow Sith, citizens of the Empire. Too long, the strength of the Empire has been beholden to the infighting of the Dark Council and the disappearance of an apathetic Emperor. Sith, children of Sith, and warriors everywhere, I declare a new Empire, open to all who long for conquest, freedom from inhibition, and the right to follow their passions. I suspected he'd betray us, but this is something else. The Dark Council is dissolved. Those who would join Darth Seravin in supporting me, cast aside your titles and let me lead you to victory. Those who will not, prepare to face our stealth armada. The Emperor is gone. His station and power are mine. We will conquer the galaxy while the Emperor sleeps. I'll say this for Darth Malchus. He's got charisma. That's what makes him so dangerous. If he unites the surviving Imperial commanders, this war will start up all over again. I know I've asked too much of you already, but we have to take Darth Malgus out, and soon. I defeated the Emperor. There's no way I'll let some wannabe take his place. Don't underestimate him. He wouldn't have made this power play if he didn't have the strength to back it up. I must confer with our top military minds. Equip yourself for battle, then hurry to join our meeting. The fate of the galaxy is at stake. Sith is gunning for the Empire, not us. Darth Malgus has sworn to kill every Jedi and Republic citizen before. Remember the Jedi Temple on Coruscant? I'll feel safer when he's gone. Master Jedi, welcome. Perhaps you can bring focus to our attack strategy. Tell me what's happening. Our Sith friend stolen the Emperor's cloaked space station. 
and he's using it to create his stealth armada. Location unknown. Supreme Commander, Darth Malagus's forces are invading Ilum. His ships appeared from nowhere, and his forces are hitting both sides. Deploy every available soldier. The Republic will not lose this planet. Malchus must have sent stealth fighters from his armada. Which means we can steal one. Of course. A command fighter will have the location of Malgus's space station logged in its nav computer. It's our best hope. Steal one of the ships and a good pilot could follow the flight plans back to Malgus's base. We don't know how long the stealth ships will stay on Ilum. Agreed. Bring up Cantaras. Your starfighter is ready, Supreme Commander. Change of plans, Cantaras. The good master Jedi needs help borrowing a stealth fighter. Once it's secure, you're both flying it to Malgus's space station. Let's show Darth Malgus what it means to threaten the Republic. I can't wait. The Republic thanks you, Cantaras. Now prep for battle. He'll drop you on the front lines. Once you've landed, there's only two armies between you and the stealth fighters in Malgus's fort. I sense a dark power descending on Ilum. Whoever leads this invasion will be here soon. May the Force be with you. She's a beaut, isn't she? Modified CEC attack model, straight from the Supreme Commander's personal collection. We'll ride her in close, but I'll have to drop you when the anti-air gets thick. From there, I'll stay in touch and provide air cover. We won't secure this stealth fighter without your help, Kantaris. Glad I can help. Besides, I'll take any excuse for a break from protecting the Legislature. Strap in and hold tight. Let's show Darth Malgus who he's messing with. we had more time. Why is a Voss in the middle of Darth Malgus's invasion? My family has come to assist me. That is enough, my dear. The Force is strong with you, just as Emperor Malgus warned. Hmm. As we speak, my assassin is... Delivering a message to your Republic War Council. You have failed. An assassin will never breach the Republic leadership's security. You refer to the security currently fighting my army? They're quite busy. Wouldn't you agree, dear? Yes. So succinct. One of the Voss's many virtues. The Republic wanted only to tap their power. But Emperor Malgus respected the Voss's strength, and invited them to join his new order. The Voss have agreed to join Darth Malgus? We have no consensus. Few Voss followed Darth Seravin here. The others await our word. Dalsa Ko is a mystic. Soon she will experience a vision of Voss prosperity under Emperor Malgus. Then all Voss will join us. I saw. You fought Darth Seravin, I watched, and bowed to the victor. In that case, I will fulfill your vision. In the name of Emperor Malgus. Eh? The Voss mourn the passing of a great man. Darth Seravin forced my hand. His death was regrettable, but necessary. Thank you. This is Paul Cantaros. Good work taking the stealth fighter, but the attack on the Supreme Commander... It explains their radio silence. I'll get you back there ASAP, but first we need to deal with the rest of Malgus' allies. What's your call? Spare us, and my people join the Republic. Show Malgus' supporters the kindness of the Republic. And Cole, no rough stuff. 
Not a problem. My family thanks you. Let's hope these other aliens are just as grateful. Let's hope you can reach the Supreme Commander in time. Is everyone all right? Master Jedi, I tried to contact you. Malgus tried to kill us. Our guards stopped Darth Saravan's assassin, but they couldn't stop his bomb. Darth Saravan wanted you all dead. If he'd succeeded... Thank you, but we mustn't let this tragedy distract us from the mission. Cole reported your seizure of Darth Saravan's stealth fighter. As suspected, the coordinates to Malgus's hidden base are on its computer. Unfortunately, they're encrypted. Rather than waste days decoding them, we've worked up a quick fix. We've placed a homing beacon on your stealth fighter. Cole will fly you to Malgus's station, and the Republic fleet will follow. Prepare the fleet, Supreme Commander. I will lead our assault against Darth Malgus. Guide our fleet well, Master Jedi. Report to Kantaras. He'll fly you right to Darth Malgus' doorstep. You have defeated one Emperor, and you can do so again. May the Force be with you. I heard what Saravan did. It's just... just terrible. But worse will happen if we don't stop Malgus soon. Whatever happens out there... It's been a great honor fighting by your side, Master Jedi. I'm tremendously honored. Right. Well, let's get this show on the road. Engines are primed. Homing beacon secure. We're good to go. Next stop, Darth Malgus's space station. stated that the power core is the domain of the Schism Collective. Maybe I wasn't clear enough. That's the sound of my flux cannons incinerating one of your capital ships. Shall I do it again? You aren't going to fire the super laser. I'm not going to fire the super laser. This battle station is the galaxy's greatest technological marvel, and it's all made possible by Anomid Genius, by the Schism Collective. Interjection. Silence, meatbag. It, it's... Uh, your, your upgrades. Statement. I'm HK-47, Commander of the Foundry and Personal Exterminator to Emperor Malgus. My master activated me ahead of schedule to eliminate the Republic Organic. Why would an Emperor want an assassin droid? Recitation. I have served many masters, all shapers of the galaxy. Master Malgus seeks to join their ranks. Stand clear, scientist. Assassination protocols engaged. Bless you! Work. My beautiful machines! Ruined because of you! Emperor Malgus will be furious. He'll, he'll disown the Schism Collective, or, or worse. Unless you put in a word for us with the Republic? Disable the station's shields, and I'll mention your cooperation to the Supreme Commander. Of course. It will take some clever slicing, but that's my specialty. <coughs> Schism Collective, this is Argus Ward. Evacuate the space station and surrender to the Republic. Our time here is up. And to commemorate our newfound friendship, I'll program our flux cannons to fire on the stealth armada. Just a few more minutes. Master Jedi, witness your fleet's destruction.
Even without our flux cannons, my stealth fighters are crippling your pathetic armada. Soon the Republic's failure will be complete, and nothing will stand in the way of the new Empire. If I allow your Empire to succeed, I'll be failing those I swore to protect. You have already failed, Jedi. Warning. Shields shutting down. Station defenses offline. Arcus Wode. Well played. Lay down your weapon. I'll call off the fleet. You overestimate your chances of success. Emergency warning. Safety overrides disengaged. Power core set to self-destruct. This station will explode, consuming your entire fleet. And from the wreckage of the once mighty Republic, a new empire will be born. Your actions have already condemned you. Come, show me the strength of your Republic. And then she picked up Malgus's lightsaber and melted the statue's base, sending it crashing down onto Malgus. Incredible. Master Jedi. Cole was just regaling us with the story of how you defeated Darth Malgus. Malgus's lightsaber form was flawless, but he let anger and desperation cloud his fighting. He faltered, and I followed through. It's time we celebrate this momentous victory. The False Emperor is dethroned. Darth Malgus is no more. The New Empire is no more. And the old empire is severely weakened. The Republic is destined to flourish. Indeed. You have given us much hope. As always, the Republic must carry on. Our fleet requires repairs, and we must salvage what we can from the Emperor's destroyed station. But first, the Savior of the Republic deserves our praise. Indeed. Enjoy this victory, and the peace that follows. <laughs>